Sean Payton, the head coach of, well, I guess now former head coach of the New Orleans Saints, has announced that he is stepping away from the Saints job, as in he is leaving. The article headline over at WDSU, which is down in New Orleans, said Sean Payton set to announce retirement. And then it goes through, Chris, it says, uh, Sean Payton announced his retirement Tuesday in a news conference. And then they go back on it, right? It says, Payton spoke with the media announcing he is stepping away from the team as head coach. He addressed media rumors of him taking a job in broadcasting or another head coaching job. And he stopped short of calling his move retirement or labeling his decision at all. He said, I don't know what is next. So this is, uh, this is very interesting because he's only 58 years old. He has been coaching though, since 1988. So he's he's been at this for quite some time. This is, uh, it's strange. He's leaving $45 million on the table. He was highly, highly compensated. He has a contract through the 2024 season. It's hard to walk away from $45 million, but, man, it's, like, it's been tough. Yeah, for these three last years, years of work. Yeah. It, $45 I mean, million for three years of work. Whew. It, it's been a hard road for the last, what, two, three years for them trying to figure out what Drew Brees was going to do, and then he thought he had his quarterback, and um, Taysom Hill has not been exactly what Sean Payton, la- I guess, labeled him as. I, this is, I mean, it's strange that he would leave right now. Again, he's only 58 years old. Uh, he has had COVID twice, so he's had to be away from the team for that. Uh, he's had some other medical stuff go on. He, I mean, it's just... All kind of different stuff uh, going on with him over the past however many years. I just, give me your thoughts here. I just, I don't know what to make of this. Yeah, I was curious, is this a retirement or is this a, I'd like to do something else, to be with another team? Because this is a long time to stay with a team, right? Like, yeah. you just don't have coaches last that long with the organization. Like, what he has done is is not normal okay what bill belichick has done in new england is, is not normal like it's normal for guys to be at a place for five to ten years it, and then at some point in time they they find a new home doing something else being somewhere else fresh start new challenge you know everybody's wanting to build something differently uh, so I, I don't i don't begrudge him or think that there's anything weird or abnormal about this, um, it doesn't surprise me or shock me. If he sits out and doesn't coach, that that would be surprising. That would shock me. That I would not have uh, believed uh, was going to happen. So, you know, I'm, I'm more curious now where, where he's going to end up and when he's going to end up there. Um, you know, so, so that's, that's my thought more than likely. I find it really funny, and I, I've made this shot. We talked about this um, recently. Uh, I brought up, you know, Mike McCarthy and the Cowboys and how, you know, low-paying uh, Jerry Jones has been historically the head coach and the coaching staff. Oh, yeah. And all the Cowboys fans immediately are like, well, he's going to be the next Cowboys coach because him and Jerry do have a relationship. Yeah, okay. no, he was like, the quarterback's they, coach in uh, 2004 through, two, or no, 2003 through 05, yeah. I think. No, and they've seemingly had, like, a pretty nice relationship for a while. Uh, I remember after they won the Super Bowl, it, they were at some, like, super high-end steakout restaurant, whatever. And there's, like, this giant magnum bottle of wine brought in just for Jerry Jones. And Sean Payton was like, oh, that's Jerry? He was like, yeah, Jerry's coming in next week. And he was like, uh, nope, we're going to drink that wine. And so Sean and his party drank the wine, they bought the wine, they drank the wine, and then he signed the bottle with like a letter to Jerry. So this isn't just a we used to work together relationship. These two these two men know one another. Yes. Okay? And they and they seemingly like one another. But but let me tell you something. Jerry Jones has never paid more than four million dollars a year in his life to a head coach. Okay? And ain't that he don't have the money. He's just never thought it was important enough to spend it on this position and if you think he's going to ratchet it up to 10 from 4 you're insane and if you think Sean Payton is going to work for less money because he likes Jerry I also believe you are insane oh most certainly I I just don't see any way that that happens 
I, I, I mean, I 40, know, I don't $45 million dollars over the next three years. Like, we, yeah. you're talking closer and to 15. That's what he's, no, he's definitely not leaving for less. And he might take less. So, like, let's say the next guy signs him, you know, he wants a new try or whatever, and they sign him for an eight, nine million deal. That's a, that's a long road to hoe to get from four. And it's funny because we're talking about a guy that's a billionaire, okay? That four million dollars, Jerry doesn't even know, right? Like, like every day the Dow goes on another notch, he loses a hundred times that. But yeah. he's just never. So it's not that he doesn't have the money; it's trying to convince someone. And this is what I talked about last time I brought it up. And then I'll kind of quit beating this dead horse. It's trying to convince somebody who's been wealthy and successful for so long in their life that something that they don't think is important is now really actually important. Yeah, you have a very valid point. Uh, he felt like he could just pull a Mike McCarthy off the scrap heap and and look, they were successful this well, year. He did the same thing with Jason Garrett for a decade. So this is not just the Mike McCarthy thing, okay? Oh, yeah, like, no, agree. Jason Garrett was a coach for a long, long, long time, and he was not that very good of a coach. No, no, he was But he, he just didn't coach. value the head coaching position. He didn't think they were losing or winning games because of the coach, because he doesn't think the coaching matters. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and here's the thing. I don't know that. I've never heard Jerry say that. I've never talked to Jerry. Or, 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 I think it. I think it's just been proven. Right? It mattered. Yeah. You think a guy worth billions and billions of dollars wouldn't actually invest in the position if he thought it mattered. Yeah. Yeah. You're not wrong. You are not wrong. The longest tenured head coaches, by the way, uh, Belichick, of course, number one. He's been there since 2000. Yeah, not close. Um, yeah, that's my. Close. Sean Payton was number two. Uh, 2006. That's right. Don't pay and that's abnormal. You got it. Hey, can you name uh, three, four, and five? Oh, Jesus. Um, I bet they're not very long. Andy Reid's got to be up there coming nope. up soon. Well, Andy Reid is uh, six. Five. Uh, let's see. Number five is Pete Carroll. So, Pete Carroll's been at Seattle longer than Andy Reid's been at Kansas City? Andy Reid and Kansas City was 2013. Uh, Pete Carroll and Seattle oh, was 2010. Not- Okay. All right. Okay. So that's not, that's not as long as the thought. So, so now we're looking for one. we're looking for three and four. Um. Oh, I don't want to do the boring thing and just you. Uh, you'll know these. You'll you'll know. I know. These. I'll know them, but I, I'm just not thinking of them. And I'm driving. And I'm just trying. How about to... how about this? Uh, there's a it's a rivalry in a division oh, that you know really well. Oh, it's John. It's it's John Harbaugh and um, and uh, oh my, oh my God, Rangers Mike here. Tomlin. <laughs> Yeah. Tomlin, yeah. yeah, Tomlin was 07 and uh, Harbaugh was 08. So, and yeah. I'm gonna, but I'm gonna bet after you get by Andy, Pete and Andy, I, I'm gonna bet it goes down. Like, oh yeah, nobody's been in a job longer than five years. Oh no, number seven was uh, Sean McDermott, and then number eight is Sean McVay, and then Kyle Shanahan is number nine. Yeah, that that like, group of guys all got hired on what five, six years ago. Uh, all of them were in 2017. Okay, yeah. Yeah, right, it's right on the nuts with five years. Pretty insane. Pretty insane. Yeah. Uh, you going back. No, what Sean Payton has done, this is this is why I don't think this is a, like, I, I, I've got a lot of Saints friends in my life, and, and they're all, like, they feel, some of them, not all of them, some of them feel very, like, blindsided by this, and very, like, angry or upset, and, like, like he did us wrong. I'm thinking, he, he did this job for a while. One day, one day, Bill Belichick is going to say, I don't want Jesus anymore. And and even if he left and then went to another team to try to do something else for a couple of years, like, that's fine. It's fine. He's been here for 20 years. How long, how long do I owe, like, how long does he owe me before, like, he can leave without me being angry? Yeah. No, I think you're 100% right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.